Good morning, everybody. This is Evan Salinas with EXP Realty. And so we had a new camera set up here. So hopefully y'all can see me really good. And so uh, today wanted to do a video. Hopefully y'all saw our last video or saw my last video of our uh, iBar 104. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link up here. So in case y'all haven't seen it, go ahead and check that out uh, with Ja from Ja Allen LLC. Uh, if you're trying to do any marketing, she could definitely help you out. So today I wanted to do a little bit of a video about entrepreneurship and how, like if you're trying to get started in business, some of the things that you need to know. The question would be, when is the right time of year to start a business, right? So I'm sure we could back up and, and see whether or not this is even the right fit for you. But if you're considering it, it's probably the right fit for you. So let's just go ahead and answer that question. When is the right time of year, right? So when you're gonna start a business, you know, a lot of people, the question is, you know, oh, well, you know, it, it's just not the right time. It's just not the right time, right? Uh, it's not the right time of year. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll wait till the summertime. Summertime, that's when we're really gonna hit it hard and then it's, you know, it's gonna take off from there. Or winter, winter's gonna be great. Christmas season, holiday season, that's where we're gonna get it. First of the year, that's when we'll get after it. We'll hit it first of the year, then three months in the beginning of the year, quarter one, Q1, we're gonna hit it hard. That's the best time of year to start, right? So from seeing various different businesses, when is the right time of year to start? What do you think? Go ahead and comment below. What do you think the right time of year is to start? All right, we'll let you, we'll give you a second. Go ahead and think about it, all right? Right time of year, what could it be? The answer is, there is no right time of year. There's no, there's no time of year best, most conducive to you starting a business. Granted, if you are a seasonal business and where a lot of your business would take place during the summer months, obviously the summer would be best, but I almost would say it's better to start off a season, out of season, you know, say summer is a conducive time for you to be in business. Start in the winter, start at the beginning of the year, start whenever right now is for you. Okay, and I say do that because then what it'll do is teach you what to do during the off season, right? So if you start out of your premium season, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to learn what am I gonna be doing during the off season? How am I gonna be marketing this deal? You know, if usually we're a power washer and we can't power wash because it's, you know, five degrees outside, what can we do? Oh, we'll start shoveling some snow. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll start trimming some trees and we'll start cutting some yards. I mean, whatever it is, you'll figure out what you do on those off months. The next one, right? You hear people say, uh, well, at work, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm working a W-2 or whatever it is. And, you know, am I W-2? I gotta, I gotta, there's gonna be a right time. You know, it's just not right. I just got a promotion or I might get a promotion. Or I might do this, I might do that. And, you know, oh, well, we just got a new hire and I want to get that or we just started a new project and, you know, I got to make sure that project's done or whatever. Stop, <laughs> please. Okay, I've heard every excuse. I've used every excuse. I get it. I understand it. Uh, you know, and I, there's never going to be a right time to leave your W-2, to leave your job, ever, 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 ever. Something is going to happen. Something's going to be going on. You know, uh, it's just never going to come. There's never going to be a time where it's like, okay, I think it's time to exit. Uh, sometimes, you know, if you're working a W-2 and it's just so mismanaged and it's just bad shape, then uh, really you should have been out of there probably a long time ago. Okay, you shouldn't have waited this long for it to be bad enough for you to just be forced to quit. You know, or maybe your W-2 shuts down completely. You know what I mean? Your job just completely shuts down completely. I've had that. I've literally had somebody come in and be like, in the Thursday we had a job, beginning Friday morning, we weren't sure if we were going to be open. By uh, Friday lunchtime, the boss man basically came in and told us, uh, what kind of beers do y'all like? Because we're, this is it. This is the last day. We're shutting down the shop. And it's like, what? <laughs> you know? So it's, it's never the right time to start a business. Then say, you know, and this could be its own video, the thing is money. Oh, it's not the right time. I don't have enough money, right? 
please stop. You'll never, and this can actually be its own video and I'll probably do a more in-depth case study of the money needed to start a business, which would differentiate depending on what kind of business you're gonna start. If it's me starting a business, I say just try to do as bare bones as you can to get running, right? Because ultimately it's just a matter of getting in business and then staying in business. So sometimes just go with the bare bones if it's tooling that you need, try to buy the best that you can afford. I know that that's not always possible, but just try to weigh your, weigh your pros and cons and just try to get the, make the best decision you can. And sometimes that's difficult all on its own. Ultimately, end goal, we'll wrap this up here. Get in business and then focus on staying in business another day, right? So that's the ultimate thing. Once you're in it, just stay in business. That's it. That seems that seems uh, obvious, but it's so true. Just focus on staying in business. Don't worry about anything else, and it'll start coming to you. Don't don't be thinking, oh well, you know, I could always go and do this or that, or come back on this. Or that. Just focus on staying in business and what you're doing. That's the most important thing. Is focusing on that, and just continue to grow your own business. Don't don't think about all those other things. You know. We'll cross the money bridge when we get there. As far as the time is concerned, there's never gonna be a right time. Just do it today. That's gonna be it for today. We just wanna do a quick little video talking about entrepreneurship, if this is the right fit for you, and when you should do this. Uh, if you like these videos, please feel free to subscribe. Be safe, drive safe, and drink water, people. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care.